to a technical overview of our latest supercharger creation for the Toyota 3.5 V6 as found in the Lotus Exige like this one and Evora model families. We'll take a look at the engineering design and packaging innovation with unmatched intercooler efficiency on this supercharger program developed and manufactured at our Melbourne headquarters. Before getting into the detail of our new supercharger system, let's take a look at our experience with supercharging Lotus V6 platforms. 11 years ago, we developed the first TVS 1320 supercharger head unit globally with Eaton for Toyota Australia TRD Orion program that was unfortunately very short lived. A few years later, we worked with Lotus Cars UK to develop an OEM supercharger program for the Evora S platform they had initially released in NA form. This OE program used our TVS 1320 supercharger and was released as non-intercooled only for the Evora S and later the Exige S that in 2012 was awarded Evogue Magazine Car of the Year jointly with the 720 horsepower Pagani Weyera hypercar from Italy. The Exige continues in 2017 with the same powertrain offered as an Exige 350 or Exige 380. Our motorsport experience over the last three years working with Simply Sports cars here in Australia on both track day cars and top tier endurance racing builds for the Bathurst 12 hour using the TVS 1900 provided an R&D test bed for the new system. Dissecting the supercharger design further, Clayton, our R&D manager, has utilised the TVS 1900 rotating assembly, which offers greater efficiency and airflow over the TVS 1740 used in the new Avora and Exige 400 variants. The positive displacement supercharger delivers 1.9 litres of air per revolution and is capable of supporting standard 3.5 litre engines through to built motors with forged internals for extreme performance often expected by our customers. The supercharger is inverted to enhance overall packaging on the mid-mount V6 and maximise the intercooler system that we will cover shortly. We have positioned the rotating assembly on the lower side of the engine with the discharge port facing upwards into the large manifold plenum prior to the intercooler core before it passes through the 75mm thick tube and fin core and into the six cylinders. One of our fundamental design criteria is to achieve OEM levels of finish and ease of installation for which we are renowned, providing the best possible vehicle integration. Using the latest core configuration technology for thermal efficiency from our cooling partners ADRAD, the core is developed by Alex, our thermal control technical product manager, and is integrated into the manifold, maximising the heat rejection capabilities by providing cooler, denser air to the engine to generate more power and torque. The front mount radiator features a similar louvered fin and thin tube configuration with dual pass system to effectively support the intercoolers to reduce the inlet air temperature. We supply a large Bosch intercooler pump for the closed air to water circuit and connect the system using moulded hoses. Performance comparisons are always a big area of interest for enthusiasts. Firstly, taking a bone stock 2017 Exige 350, we have measured power at 288 horsepower and 281 foot-pounds of torque at the hubs on our Dynapack dyno. Peak boost was measured at 6.9 psi at 7,000 rpm up from 5 psi at 4,000 rpm. With the direct replacement TVS 1900 non-intercooled kit offered with Simply Sports cars, we measure 335 horsepower and 298 foot-pounds of torque achieved through the more efficient TVS 1900 compared to the factory TVS 1320. Impressive gains are achieved with our new intercooled TVS 1900 kit with an 85 mm pulley Peak boost is measured at 7.4 psi at 7,000 rpm, up from 6.5 psi at 4,000 rpm. We get peak power of 400 horsepower and 345 foot-pounds of torque measured at the hubs. These results for the new TVS 1900 were measured on a 36 degree C day with logged inlet air temperature after the blower at 7,000 RPM of just 45 degrees Celsius. 
In conjunction with the development of the standard engine kit, we are developing a high performance program with a forged internals 2GR V6 with E85 to test the boundaries of the Exige platform with this new TVS 1900 supercharger system. The compression ratio is 11 to 1 stock and other powertrain upgrades tested included a fuel system to support the delivery of E85 to the engine and aftermarket headers and exhaust for better post-engine breathing. Changing the supercharger drive pulley from 85mm down to 75mm on this unit resulted in manifold pressure being boosted up to 11 psi peak and 9.2 psi at 4000 rpm. Peak performance climbs to 506 horsepower and 417 foot-pounds of torque again measured at the rear hubs. Dyno results are okay for comparisons, but the real test is at the track with a Lotus, and Harry, in his 550 plus horsepower Exige, has reset the lap record on street tyres at numerous Australian tracks. While the Exige 430 was recently announced from the factory, it's now possible to upgrade an existing Exige or a Bora V6 to 500 plus performance with industry leading supercharger technology. Learn more at harrop.com.au and subscribe to Harrop TV for all of our content as released.